Hi everybody, we're Dane and Cindy from Midlife Travel Tales. I'm Dane, this is Cindy, and we're traveling Southeast Asia and Thailand for a year. And uh, maybe longer, maybe shorter, we're not too sure at the moment, but it's going well. And we invite you to like, subscribe, follow, share, and uh, just have fun with us on our videos. So today we want to share with you our epic fail on Airbnb. Now, we our first our second stop when we tr were traveling Thailand yeah. is um, Chiang Mai. Third stop. Third stop. Sorry, third, third stop. Yeah, sorry, third stop. Chiang Mai. And um, so before we left home, we booked online on Airbnb a place which we thought would be ideal to stay in, in Chiang Mai. It looks so good in the photos. It really, really looked good. And, and, the, and the funny thing is we actually thought a traditional type neighborhood, we wanted to immerse ourselves in the culture. So we thought that would be the ideal thing for us. Yeah, little realizing a month is a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> um, so, and, and the other thing was location was a huge thing for us. We wanted to, uh, we wanted to be somewhere where we could walk to shops, to restaurants, so something very convenient. And we booked something which was uh, in the in walking distance to the old city, which has everything. Yeah, because in the big cities, we're a little bit scared uh, with scooters because you hear so many horrific accidents. So in the bigger cities like Bangkok, Chiang Mai, we've been uh, catching taxis and, and things like that. Yeah. No, no, I, I'm too nervous to ride a scooter. <laughs> in a big too city. nervous to let me ride a scooter. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> In Thai. In, um, <laughs> um, so we also wanted a kitchen. We wanted to be able to do some of our own um, cooking, some of our own food, um, so that we could bake eggs for breakfast or whatever. So that was another another um, one of our criteria that we were looking for. Yeah. So this um, this um, booking that we made seemed to promise all of that. So. So we made our booking and we're very, very excited. Yeah. It had beautiful doors and decorations and everything. So it also it had good. a very high rating. Yeah. Which I think it was about 10.89 yeah. with quite a few reviews. So we thought, okay, this we've hit a luck here. This, this is, is this is the one. So we made our booking, we were very excited, and we flew into Chiang Mai from Bangkok. And then we picked up a taxi um, at Chiang Mai Airport to take us to our um, location. All warning right. should have been that the taxi couldn't find the place. That was the first, <laughs> was the first warning. <laughs> yeah, the first warning the taxi couldn't find it on Google Maps, which was a bit scary. Yeah. Anyway, so that was the first thing. The second thing was oh, we, we eventually did arrive there. Yeah, we eventually did. With, with driving around a little bit and going to dead ends, and anyway, we got there. We arrived there and um, the lady, the host, was there to meet us. Yes, very sweet lady. Yeah. So she opened up for us and we walked in and we, we weren't too sure initially. We were like, okay, all right. <laughs> the room unfortunately felt like a dungeon after a day or uh, after a few hours. Well, there was no outlook. You couldn't even yeah. open the windows because there were mosquitoes and the windows were those misted windows anyway. Yeah. And there was a street right in front of the, and there was a building to the side. So there was no outlook. No, we were, we were literally on the road. On yeah. the road. Um, and then the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> the kitchen was... It was a kitchen. It was a kitchen, but... It was like 50 meters yeah, away. Yeah, but the, 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 there was a little kitchen off the actual room, yeah. which had um, a kettle and... A microwave. Did it have a microwave? And a microwave and a fridge. That was it. That was it. But it was outside the room. Yeah. It was on the veranda. It was open and it was yeah. open. So, it, it, lots of mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> And then she, we said to her, we thought there was a stove and a place to actually cook. So she took us to where the cooking place was. We had to walk up the street. It's like 50 meters. <laughs> yeah, to another house. To another house. <laughs> and there was a little outside stove, which we were able to, we, we was, they were said we could use. Yeah. Now, I mean, we really don't want to have to walk in the mornings 50 meters up the road to go and cook our eggs. Yeah, past everybody <laughs> in our underwear. <laughs> So, okay, that, that, that was not fun. Um, the other thing was, and which we've actually found in a couple of places, is there's no cupboard space. There was no cupboard space to hang our clothes. There was just a, a small rail um, that you could hang a few things on and one shelf, which for a month of living is not really enough. Yeah, for a month, it's not easy to live out of your suitcase. You do need to be able to put your clothes so, somewhere. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you're just going to keep wearing the same stuff, you know? Yeah. And then that night, <laughs> or, or, hang on, we got into bed, the bed 
was the typical Asian bed, rock hard, yeah. which we have experienced before somewhere, and I just had backache for the for the two weeks we were there. Yeah, before. it puts your hips out, puts your back out, especially when you're a bit older. Especially <laughs> as Westerners, we, we're not used to to the Asian way of sleeping, no, you know. Very hard bed, and um, then we proceeded to go to sleep that first night, and. Your worst yeah. nightmare occurred. Tell you, our front door was literally on the road, and the whole night there was motorbikes going backwards and forwards. I, I don't know what people are doing in the middle of the night going on their scooters and their motorbikes, but I literally did not get probably 10 minutes of solid sleep. So <laughs> beware. When it says local, beware. <laughs> um, the funny thing is that um, someone said to us that like the 7-Eleven is 24 hours open, so people will be will be riding up and down all night coming it's, home from work and, and stuff. And it's food deliveries. Yeah, and it's food, all and food, food deliveries. deliveries. Yeah, so. everybody here gets food deliveries, so yeah. yeah. Okay, but on the flip side, I must say the host was lovely. She was very, very sweet. Yeah, because the next morning we, we had to make a decision. Yeah. So it was to stay or to go. Do I stay or do I go now? <laughs> and, and if we went, we were going to lose a lot of money. But if we stayed, we, our marriage might not have survived. And we today, by the way, is our, of, of the recording of this video, is our fifth anniversary. Yep, five years <laughs> married. <laughs> Wonderful. And having the time of our lives. So we had big decisions the next day to make. So, yeah, so we um, decided that um, we were going to move. Suck, no matter, it, suck up yeah, the cost. Whatever the, the cost, just for the saving of our trip and our marriage, <laughs> we decided <laughs> let's just scan it and look for something else more suitable for ourselves. Yeah. So the so what we decided to do is we thought, okay, but, but the lady was great. She was they were, very they, And they gave us um, a 50 50%, yeah, 50%. A 50%. So, but what we did, the process with Airbnb, was we decided to contact Airbnb. We've never done this before. Yeah. And 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 see what if we could get any kind of refund, if there was was any way of or what we could actually do. Um. So, um, we were actually very pleasantly surprised. We phoned them. There's a special line. Yeah. On their on their website that you can phone. And and it's a it's like a WhatsApp call. It's yeah. not it's not a, a not a like a, a normal call. It's a WhatsApp call, yeah. a data call. And they answered like immediately. Sure. And were so understanding and so helpful. We were actually very surprised. We were blown away. We explained our situation to them, and they then liaised with the owner on our behalf. Um, and some kind of agreement was reached with the owner that they would give us a partial refund, which we we didn't even expect. Yeah, we we were willing. We were, we were in such gonna... dire straits that we were willing just to suck up the so, cost. And, and lose it. So when they said they'd give us a partial refund, we were like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's really yeah, cool. We, were we smiling didn't expect there. that. So I must say Airbnb support was amazing. And then after that, they contacted us to see if we had sorted everything out. And within a couple of days, we had received the refund um, from them. And it just they said that the noise was disclosed. But it wasn't disclosed on the main advert. Mm. It was in the safety and privacy safety and something um, in Airbnb when you book. There's a safety and something little thing you little, can look at. So we advise you have a look at every yeah. segment of your B Airbnb booking. But it, and it did say there's something about noise until a certain time, but the noise went beyond that a certain yeah. time with the motorbikes going all night long. So yeah, a little tip: make sure also you do look at look at that safety. Um, yeah, it falls section. under safety and S and privacy or safety, safety and privacy or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, so just to say that we were actually really really impressed with Airbnb. Yes. They they kind of were protecting us, took on us, took our side, and negotiated with the hosts and. Yeah, it was it was incredible. Yeah, and again to say the hosts were were, were really, very understanding. Yeah. It would be a lovely place to stay for Come maybe ahead. two or three nights to get a real time to get a real time feel, but not for a month. No, yeah, for a month. Not it, for it, a month. There was just no outlook, nothing. Yeah. So what have we learned? We have <laughs> learned. I have learned a big lesson. <laughs> <laughs> now, so when we moved, we actually booked a condo. We decided let's try a condo which, when we left the, the accommodation yeah, yeah. yeah so we booked into a condo which was not originally on our plan because my husband here did, thought he did not like condos. I thought I didn't like condos <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest we actually decided we we like the condo because it's got the kitchen it's got uh, it had a it had a pool it had it, had, it was comfortable yeah and it's, it's got a gym and it's got, a gym, and it's, got yeah. it's got everything you want it might not be immersing yourself in the local culture 
but it's for, um, com for comfort for a month. For a month is with is, a kitchen, a proper kitchen, everything. It's, it's a way to go. It was, it was way better. Um, yeah, so we need, we had we've had everything in our condo. We were so much happier. Yeah, we kept looking back, saying, "Thank goodness, we decided not to stay for a month." Yeah, if. You know, sometimes we've got to look at ourselves as we get older as well. This is midlife travel tales, um, <laughs> which is we're getting older and, and we do need a level of comfort. And we don't think we think we're still in our um, teens or 20s, but there is a level of comfort. So this is just a, a video of our advice. Yeah. So no, so our, we've learned a lot already just in setting out on our travels now. Yeah. And when we look for accommodation in the future, we know the things we want and the things we don't want. Yeah, so the things we, we've discovered, you need a pool if you're staying long term. It is great to have a pool if you can get it. Uh, it's nice to have a kitchen, accessible kitchen. Um, yeah, it's a all comfortable these, bed. A comfortable bed, all these kind of things. A, a, a relatively quiet environment is also helpful. And if you can find a gym near or in the building, that's fantastic for exercise. Yeah. 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 So that was our little uh, Airbnb. What, uh, what do we call epic it? Epic fail. Our epic fail. Our Airbnb epic fail. I'd rather we learn the lessons now than later. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some tips, make you thought about some stuff. Uh, we, are, we are Dane and Cindy from uh, Midlife Travel Tales. We invite you to like, subscribe, to share. And uh, y'all have an awesome day and God bless.